Why are you stopping people going on their holidays? Well, this dispute is about ensuring the hardworking men and women here at Gatwick Airport receive a decent pay rise. Um, they live and work in one of the most expensive uh, parts of the country, and they are the backbone of Gatwick Airport. Employers have had over six months to put a fair, decent offer on the table, and our members simply can't wait any longer. Except that the holiday makers who've been working very hard, many of them perhaps wouldn't have had a holiday since before the COVID pandemic, are now thrown into complete uncertainty. They simply don't know if their longed-for holiday is going ahead. It seems to be quite harsh on hard-working men and women. Well, this isn't about punishing hard-working men and women. This is about making sure that the hard-working men and women in Gatwick receive a decent pay rise. Like I said, they um, do incredibly important roles. They do safety, critical roles, looking after passenger and plane safety. Um, and they live in one of the most expensive areas of the country. Uh, they need a pay rise. And I think passengers have every right to feel angry. When we look in the boardrooms of these companies, they're incredibly wealthy organisations. And there seems to be a pay and bonuses bonanza going on. And our members are quite frankly sick of having to survive off the scraps from the board table. The four employers involved in this dispute, which is ASC, who ground handles for TUI, DHL, ECJet, Menzies Aviation, that handles a number of airlines at this airport, and Gatwick Ground Services that handles for British Airways. They've all had pay claims in since the beginning of the year, since January. They've had over six months to make an offer to their staff, which is acceptable, and they've chosen not to. This dispute is the fault of the employers, and our members have rightly been pushed into a corner, and they have no, and no alternative now but to fight for a decent pay.